All right, guys, welcome back. And this is going to be my first attempt in playing around with Daiwa's mag-sealed ball bearings. Uh, I've played around with their mag-sealed AR clutch uh, shield. Uh, that's fairly straightforward, fairly simple. It's just a magnetic disc that I guess you can say uh, re uh, works alongside the AR clutch sleeve and creates a basically a fluidic seal against debris and water. And I've never worked with the actual ball bearings themselves. And one thing I can tell you is uh, getting them open and apart does require powerful magnets. Uh, you're not going to be able to pick them out. If you try to pick them out, you'll actually end up doing damage. So you actually do need some uh, fairly powerful neodymium magnets. Uh, I have a couple stacks of you know half-inch magnets that I use to pull the shields out. Uh, and then I blew out the existing... Uh, or the, uh, the used and old ferrofluid using a water pick dental irrigator. I tried using other methods that I usually use, using uh, denatured alcohol, butane. Uh, it's, it left a gummy residue inside the bearing. And the water pick dental irrigator is basically a miniature power washer for your teeth. And it works great for fishing reels, and it works spectacularly to kind of clear out the rest of the, the old fluid. And what you're going to see here is just me uh, using a plastic golf tip, uh, sorry, a plastic golf tee to basically apply the ferrofluid. I, I think it went a little heavy. Uh, I should have gone a little bit lighter, but I'm going to leave it the way it is for now and see how it works out. Um, my guess is it's not going to cause any real damage. Uh, it's still going to be uh, sealed from any, any water or debris. But uh, it was just kind of interesting to see how these actually work. It's actually uh, a little bit easier than I expected to. So that was a plus. So let me know what you guys think. And I'll put up the, uh, a video of how to get the shields off after this. Uh, I just wanted to get this out there real quick because I thought it was pretty interesting. All right, guys. Thanks. Now, what do we do now? Do we apply the ferrofluid without the top plate in place? See, it's going all the way around. I don't know. Is that too much? That's the most I've ever applied in one dose. So. We shall find out. And put the ring back into place. That's the non magnetized ring. Next, to the back side. And I'm just going to put it in the middle. Hopefully, yeah. I guess if you just tap it in the middle, it just goes all the way around. Looks good to me. All right, this bearing is now fully mag sealed and it, and it feels pretty good. One down, two more to go. Again. spinning smoothly all right now we're going to put the ferrofluid again on the golf tee and we're not being we're not paying attention where we're splashing it because it's going to work its way around regardless i 
And again, for some reason in the tutorials that you see people working with the ferrofluid, they use metal, like a needle or a fish hook. Use plastic. Because if this was metal, you'd be magnetizing the needle. So I'm basically, I'm not wasting any of this. Now, did we overload it? I don't know. Probably. It feels good to me. Both feel identical. That's two down. Now the line roller. One shield on, magnetized. Going to shield number two. Does polarity matter on this? Nope. It just it couldn't go in on an angle. It had to almost go straight on. That's fine. Let's see if we can get a little bit tighter. That was too much. <laughs> Got a little greedy. Now, how do you remove ferrofluid? I, I personally think the answer is you don't, but we're going to wrap up a few magnets and a piece of paper towel. And that's not doing a single thing, is it? <laughs> All right, so that didn't work. Maybe if we put the non-magnetized washer in place, it'll. No, nope. I was hoping maybe it would squeeze them out. <laughs> we have a little uh, ferrofluid overdose. Enough that it's coming out the other side. <laughs> That's not good. Ah, screw it. Why not? I got the good ferrofluid. Maybe it's a good lubricant, too. <laughs> That's not how you do it. But, I mean, that's going to see the most, most wear and most water. So, who knows? Maybe that is a, the right way to do it. I could have gone a little bit easier on it, but all right. So um, I think that about covers how to uh, remove and reinstall Daiwa's Mag Shield Ferrofluid Sealed Ball Bearings. I, I I don't recommend that you do this. <laughs> now that I know how to get the shields off real easily, and since I generally attack. Uh, degreasing and uh, cleaning out uh, ball bearings with my water pick to begin with instead of doing that flip flop flip flop on the paper towel uh, that was again that was more of a visual representation as to how much ferrofluids in there I just might remove the shields the magnetic magnetized shield also and then just hit them with the water pick it might actually be easier than um, it might be easier than I'm thinking it is but yeah time will tell and uh, I hope these hold up I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully uh, you learned something. I know I did. Thanks, guys.